Hi Laura, Phil Beaver here at the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on what we worked on yesterday. So if we run through your backswing on this swing on the left, and we can see here, I'm just going to show you today what we've changed. I'm not going to show you what it looks like now, but just what we've changed. So we can see here, as you're starting to get halfway back at this position here, we can see your spine is starting to tilt what we'd say the wrong way. And as you get to the top of your swing, I would say it's tilting even more that way. So we need to get that feeling really that we're going to reverse that. So yeah, I gave you the feeling, if I gave you a ball in your right hand and asked you to throw it as far as you can from face on, your spine would go more on that angle. Okay, So we need to get your top half to just feel like you load up. Another good analogy would be uh, if you set up in your golf posture just far enough away from the dining room table and had a bottle on it <clears throat> and made a backswing, you should be able to grab the bottle uh, and you were swinging it. How you were swinging it, you was getting further away from the bottle. So that's the first thing. You found, you found that quite easy to do. The second thing that we can see halfway down here is we talked about what your relationship between your lag and your your wrists. So here we've got quite a lot. And what should happen is as you start swinging down, this, this radius should start getting narrower. And we can see with yours, we're getting wider. Okay. So most a lot of good players at this position here would be, say, there. So you can see they're getting really tight. And when they come in again, it would be there. So... We just need to get that feeling and we get put it all in together in one drill, Laura. And you can see here, just as you're coming through, lower half's a bit static, uh, all with the arms there. Then into that beautiful sort of looking golf swing at the end. So a little bit false at the end, but that's pretty much what most people do, to be fair. So that was uh, what we needed to look at or work on. And then this is what we, uh, how we fixed it. So if we look here on the right, we did a, prop, a new drill. This drill here is to swing to the top, load up. That spine's now tilted perfectly. And then as you lower your arms, we can see now the club is behind us. No axe motion at all, getting that club behind us. When I run round face on, you're going to see that halfway down, you can see here, ideally, I'll get your hands on, on that right thigh. But the sh most important thing is your shaft angle is at least horizontal to the ground. That's the thing we need to work on because we can see here, coming into impact if we go back just a couple of frames that's probably where you you are there your shaft is sort of there and we can see now in a new video you're there uh, but the big difference is when your hands reach that fire there we can see your shaft is on that angle and with this good swing if we show you here so we've got you down to that position there Laura and then I ask you to have sort of a pump and go so literally just start to lift the arms up a little bit and really drive hard with that left hip and chest I really want you to feel that you turn that whole body left opposed to using your arms. And we can see here as you start to unwind and give it an absolute beast in now, we can see the body starting to pull. It's definitely working this way. Okay. And we can see here if we come halfway down, same position. Look at the lag difference there. So that little drill is really fixing things. Right elbow is nicely tucked into the side. No axe at all. And from there, it's all about turning for it now. I would still say this area is still a little bit slow, but you're only going to get better and better. And doing that drill, we could see when I did it, I was hitting seven on, I think, one, three, six, uh, just from half a swing. And I think we got you up to about 112. So we just need to keep doing that until we can get that power up. And that's going to get the lower half to unwind. So back to the drill, swing to the top, get that top half to lean over, lower the arms down to opposite your right thigh, El right elbow nicely tucked, wrist fully hinged from there and then we're gonna have a little pump and then really turn hard with the legs and chest and rip for it. Laura, really impressed. See you soon, have a great Christmas.